Rawr! Oh man, imagine if we could actually bring back dinosaurs. Well, actually, there might be a way to bring some species back with the extinction methods. Who are you? Get out of my house! Sh Phew! Okay, so, let's see what we can try to revive an extinct species like the dinosaurs. <laughs> the first de-extinction method is... Cloning! Um, I only know about cloning from watching Naruto. Well, that makes two of us. Oh, brother! To clone an extinct animal, you need to have the animal's preserved DNA, which comes from the core of a cell. Well, we do have a lot of dinosaur bones in museums, so can we use them to extract the DNA? Unfortunately, we can't. DNA is very fragile and it breaks down over time, especially in warmer climates. So even if we take the Jurassic Park scenario and we had dinosaur DNA from mosquitoes preserved in amber, that DNA would still be broken down to the point where it would be unusable for cloning. Even if we did have the DNA, the next step of cloning requires a host for the egg, which would be the dinosaur's nearest living relative. Birds are the closest living relatives to the dinosaurs, but their genetic compatibility would probably not be sufficient. So even though cloning is a very complicated process that has been around since the 1950s, there have actually been some successful cases. One of the most famous examples is Dolly the sheep, who was born in the mid-90s. Other animals that have been cloned include cats, dogs, pigs and horses. Seeing all these successful cases is actually giving me an idea. Hey man, why did you open a deer cloning service? Well, you know me, I'm always trying to make a quick buck. But wait a second, so there have been successful cases of cloning species which aren't extinct. Are there any extinct species that have been successfully cloned? Well, yes, kind of. Meet Celia, she was a Pyrenean ibex and the last of her kind. Celia was captured so scientists could try to save her species by cloning. Do it. Cloning her was seen as the easiest option since goats, which are related to the ibex, have well understood reproductive biology. That's why it's the goat! The goat! However, a big problem was that even if they successfully created a female clone, there were no male Pyrenean ibex left to create a new population. Wow. The scientists used Celia's extracted DNA and combined it with egg cells from goats to create embryos. After many unsuccessful attempts, only one clone was born, but it passed away shortly due to health issues. So besides cloning, we have genome editing, and it's exactly how it sounds like. Let's say we want to bring the woolly mammoth back. Don't you have a nut to look for? So we can take the DNA of a close living relative, like today's elephants, and edit it to include traits from the mammoth. Now the result is an animal which is not entirely a woolly mammoth, but a hybrid of a mammoth and today's elephants. Hey man, can you give me an honest opinion? Uh, sure, what's up? Do these genes make me look fat? <laughs> they do. Now let's talk about another de-extinction method, backbreeding. This is a method where we selectively breed animals to bring back traits of their wild ancestors. By choosing animals that still have those ancestral traits, we can recreate appearances and behaviors of extinct animals. No thanks, I choose life. Oh, and we actually do have some species that were considered extinct but have been successfully revived. These include recently extinct plants which were revived by finding preserved seeds. But what about animals? Backbreeding was used to bring back the Rastreador Brasileiro, a dog breed which was declared extinct in the 1970s. The Floriana Taurus, which was extinct in the 1800s, is also going through the backbreeding program, but the species still needs to be genetically evaluated. What type of dog is this? So will we ever see real, living dinosaurs? Maybe. But for now, go see them at your local gas station. That's him, officer! That's the guy who broke my window! Well, gotta run! Thank you so much for watching and subscribe for more educational content!